Hot 93.3. At 3.3, you know, that was DJ Spino and Cold with Fonz 24 minutes past 11 a.m. I said 11 a.m., 1 a.m., 1 p.m. What's going on? Oh, Charity, what, what's, what's, what's up with on? the time? What's, first? I don't even know. I'm thinking about night time because I've, <laughs> hey. I've, I've got DJ Spino in the building. Maji, with me. Maji, thank you, thank I, you. I'm looking, I'm looking for the... Uh, it smells so nice in here, by the way. It does. Yes, you, you were complimenting our studio first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You first of all, I'm I'm flabbergasted. I'm ah, gas with word. the yeah. No, I have to use big <laughs> English to define how amazing this studio looks. Yeah, it's very high tech. I feel like if I press something, I'm gonna land on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's because we're streaming live, and you can watch us live on www.hotfm. Oh. ng forward slash Lagos. Oh. Yep, we're streaming live. You guys are actually hot, hot. Yes, now we're very hot. Oh, <laughs> hot test FM. <laughs> okay, this is my show. Let me take over. Okay, please. sorry. Let me sorry, take sorry. over. So I'm, I just, got I'm just excited. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I have DJ Spinal in the building with me. He has a new song out yes sir you have two of the biggest names on your new track thank you how did you even do that how did you pull that off i know you did just say no it's you I but beg my you. goodness i beg you uh, i think um i've been trying to work with um ty savage since 2015 yeah and for some reason um it's not been possible we've recorded so many songs and um and also you know he's one of my favorite artists in the world uh with i have we recorded a lot of songs yeah. and um see so i just woke up on midnight i was on the plane actually to london and um she called me on whatsapp and i uh, said it's been i'm ready for Time. you now wow i'm like mm, lie. Mm, <laughs> come on bobo me on this plane you know he said no, no no i'm serious this time because we recorded a few songs and she said she was ready that we're gonna release and later she was like, oh, Spino, this song can be better. Let's do another one. Let's do another one, you know. So when she calls, I'm like, mm, you're just lying. It's not happening, you know. So when I landed, she's like, for real, for real. Let's get in now, you know. And also, you know, there's been this love triangle between uh, Weez and Tiwa, you know. We don't know if it's bestie, bestie or bestie, love, love or love, love, you know. So we don't know what the love is. So Yeah, but do you have a female bestie that you're close with like that? Oh, of course I do. I do like that. Yeah. What do you mean like that? That's like the part. that. Like, you, you you know what I'm talking about. I mean, about? I have besties, but I don't know about like that. Like okay, so you're saying that that what is do you not. Mean? The... You explain. Don't ask me. I don't ask you. See how you, you press people. This is how you put somebody in trouble. <laughs> what do you mean by like that? I'm the one asking. You said a love triangle. So yeah. do you have? I mean, a... you know, we saw Fever video. We saw Malo. You know, ah, bestie, bestie. You know. This is your bestie, bestie. I feel you. You don't have a bestie like that. You do. I mean, ah, like maybe back you in the days. Like Trump. Maybe back in the days, I used to. Why can't you have one like that? Um, you think it will affect your relationship? No. That's first and foremost. I think you know, w- women. You guys are a very special breed, and it can be very complicated. Mm-hmm. You know, one minute she's like. So I'm your just your bestie. <laughs> Next minute is like, what are we actually? What are we? Pencils and we are pencils. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to get in that trouble. But um, I think it's exciting to see how real friends like Wiz and Tiwa have constantly been able to get our attention. We're all lost whether they actually love us or they actually well, they best friends. But they look cute as a couple, though. Um, uh, I don't date couples, don't so, <laughs> what? so I wouldn't know. But uh, I think that their chemistry, that's one thing I know for sure. Their chemistry is incredibly insane. Yeah. One minute you can see two are all serious and, you know, Wiz is in the room and they're all, the energy is high. They just talk that's to the themselves. That's of love. <laughs> so when did you become a love <laughs> professor? <laughs> I mean... It's just the chemistry that I can read and I think it's beautiful, you know. Love is one thing. Chemistry is another thing, you know. You can be in love with someone and the both of you, you are like um, the U.S. president and the first lady. <laughs> <laughs> but is that the reason why, because of their chemistry, is that the reason why you this brought love. both of them? This love. Oh, that's why you... Did, mm-hmm. you, did you actually name the song yourself or did it come from them? No, so how we name records is usually from the record. Okay. Do you get, we don't just sit down by the... What does I'm like? We're going to name this mm-hmm. song. This, you know. I have nah. a friend who who is doing music, mm-hmm. and she actually has a name of her song before she even has the lyrics to the song. Wow, that's special. <laughs> that's very special. That's special. So let me in on the creative process of you. You as a DJ, yeah. 
Um, you see, I'm dropping my questions. This was supposed yeah. to come last. Yeah. But you as a DJ and yeah. you have songs with artists. Yeah. So what is it like? How do you impute in the so creative I'm, process? So I'm not just the DJ. I'm, okay. I'm a songwriter as well. Oh. I'm a producer as well. Okay. You know, so songs like Baba, you could hear me, my songwriting skills in the song. Songs like Oima, you could hear that as well. Uh, I produce so many of my records not all, but I produce a lot. I've produced for Sakode, I've produced for Kiss Dana, I've produced for too many people. Oh. Um, on this record, I did the intro, if you could hear it, said Dan Penny. Okay. Uh, yeah. I can't wait to hear it. I haven't heard it. It just dropped today and the video was out yes, by 12. Yes, and we're here first because yeah. you guys are special. I'll give you know? my happy dance. I wish I could stand up and dance for So, um, I think I think it's just, it's just the kind of records that, you know, just swing into you is the proper love summer anthem in my opinion yeah uh what i what i was trying to do with the record also was not just to give you the typical sound you know yeah so like we're all tired okay you know that's music for the Let's culture do something different. music for the soul and you know my trap record you know now what is your track record you know you know i don't know which one of them you're talking about now. i mean my track <laughs> <laughs> i don't know which one of them you're talking I about i mean too. music wise come okay on. okay music, music wise. wise i've never let you guys down you've never you've you never know, yeah. and you are one of the if not the top dj in nigeria and very soon africa and yeah, say with your chest babe say with your chest which chest? Say with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> but, but i mean you've been touring around and thank you thank you, you so much at, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if you were jet lagged at this moment. Well, not not no, right now. Not right now. Although you know, running coming to radio stations in the morning, uh, I don't know how you guys do it. Well, this is the afternoon. You see, it's like well, you I've see? left the house since morning. Okay. You know, trying to make sure that you know some fans did not sleep. They're like eh, idiot, drop the song now. Now, <laughs> what's wrong with you? Are you going to wake up? Wake yeah. up, okay. <laughs> you know. So um, it could be a lot of stress, but. Um, just listening to the music kind of like just kind of like um encourages you and kind of like make you feel like oh it's worth it after all okay tj spinner has his phone he do, he he doesn't know how I'm, it is to I'm be so at a radio station I'm so, I'm his so phone sorry. is ringing i'm so sorry i'm so sorry you should you should, you should do some push-ups i'm actually <laughs> you should do some push-ups i'm I actually punish you. i'm actually surprised like I think it's one of them fans also. They say, idiots, come out on radio. And uh, press uh, this your up. fans <laughs> have your phone number. Yes, wow. So they I do. see you. That's they how do. you relate with them. They personal. Do. It's, it's, it's important to respect the fans and treat them because without the fans, trust me, There's we won't nothing. be here. Nobody, nobody rated us when we started. Yeah. Nobody really cares. It's just strangers that became friends, the fans. So if I, there are a few of my fans that I know directly. I've actually been to their houses. And yeah. Some of them have been to their graduation and school. So Aww. it's important to connect. That's also I'm talking about nobody rating you. You went from studying elect elect yes, to DJing. And back in the day, we know that DJs didn't really have a hold on us. DJs yeah. were uh, what they would say. The tag was DJing is a hobby. It's yeah. not a profession. So how did you break out from that to being who you are now? Um, I would say God. I I I would really really say God. Yeah, it sounds like cliche. Yeah, but, quite cliche. But the truth is, um, God kind of like really really was the miracle worker. So if you hear me in my songs, I say yeah, I know I shell it a lot, and people don't understand. I mean, there will be a miracle. But, yeah. Um, I would say God in the sense that um, you can be the best at what you do, and if God does not kind of like say yeah, go. You're it's, just gonna, it's no for you. Uh, come on. Yeah. Psh, come you know on. what? I'm too excited to, <laughs> you know, to wait to listen to this song. Yeah. So let's play this this love, DJ Spino, Whiskey, and Tiwa Savage. You most likely would have heard it first here on Hot Night 3.3. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Like, my body is even. <laughs> <laughs> so let me play this song. You can let me in on what you think about this music on WhatsApp 081 8933 or you can simply tweet at whatfm underscore Lagos. And I might open the phone lines you if you want to talk to DJ you Spino. You have, but you have your fans. Your fans have your number too. You see? It's you not see, my phone you number, see, Spino. You see? Come, you, you know what? <laughs> Don't let me turn off your mic. <laughs> Let's listen to a brand new single, Tiwa Savage and Whiskey. Hot 93.3. I still got DJ Spino on the building with me. That was a brand new single, Whiskey and Tua Savage with that one. What do you think about it? Let me in. 
Send me a message on WhatsApp 081-800-899-33. I've got a message here. It says, before the song even ended, it says, cool, sweet song. Hey, yes, uh, I actually you. love it. I, I, I now understand the blend that you were talking about with thank you. Tiwa and Whiskey. Yeah. It's amazing. It's so, special. It's very... Uh, it's spiritual. I like the way you're it's saying It's organic. Okay, is that, is that Natural. One? Natural. What else? Beautiful. Mm-hmm. Astonishing. Intimate? Ah, <laughs> very intimate. There you said it. It's you who said it, not me. <laughs> but that's fine. You see that you've been touring the whole world. Mm. And um, did you ever think that you were going to get to this point as a DJ touring the world? Oh, yes. And you were the first nigerian or first african to perform at was it greenfield festival yeah, yeah. Gra- glastonbury yes how was it for you um i was nervous as hell yeah um <laughs> and but it's like that with every of the events i do even the ones in nigeria the yeah. ones that i do that is easy but i still get nervous every now and then really yeah and it's not like nervous out of confusion but nervous in the sense that you want to give something something they've never experienced before you want to make it better than your last you yeah know? you want to keep always setting this the the pace standard, yeah and that see all that in there will definitely lead to you being a little bit nervous because you don't know what to expect as well okay sometimes you want to be out of the box to give people something spectacular and they want something inside the box so it's all it's all together and most times you always end up being so cool of course any party that dj spinel is djing always. at is always lit i can tell for Thank free. You. I, I, this is a free promo i can tell you for oh, free yeah. book dj spinel now Thank you. <laughs> so tell me how do you ever get like get over all of the anxiety um i think um i have a go-to music for everything mm-hmm. <laughs> so when i'm going to work and it's about to be nervous tolu knows mm-hmm. my playlist just put Chris Brown on replay. Uh, Chris Brown's my ex boyfriend. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the done way, with him. I'm the way you yeah. slaughtered that. Like, I just had so to let smooth. you know. Yeah. <laughs> just let you know that you're feeling my boyfriend's music. All right, That's all right, it. Cool. All right, yeah. cool. His, his music is amazing. And um, I have kind of like playlists. I've created a sort of artist. I listen to some artists that I don't even know their names. Yeah. And the artists would never imagine that I'm. I know there are lyrics word for word. Yeah. And music is quite very healing and spiritual for me. And it's like, it's like, I think it's like that for everybody too, because you're at home and you want to probably clean the house and you just put some music on. It kind of like gives you more energy to go. Yeah, true. Or you're, you're traveling somewhere, you kind of like, and you're driving, you put on music, you know. Music it's, for it's everything. Like, it's like motivation. It helps you be better at what you want to do. So, um, most times when I'm anxious or nervous or whatnot, it's just usually music. Okay. Or some, and I don't, I usually don't watch musical videos. Uh, wow. Yeah. And you, you just dropped a video. Wow. Yeah, that that's, is encouraging. That's, that's, I'm that's just, quite encouraging. I mean, oh, look, look. <laughs> people like when you're being honest, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. True. So, I, I mean, sit down at home and be watching myself on tv <laughs> do you know how that feels nah because every time i watch myself on tv i'm always cussing at myself every time like, i hear my voice i'm like what's that exactly yes, you know I, the feeling yeah, I do. creative people will understand when you're watching yourself on tv you're like what why am i dancing like that eh? why, why did, did they I, get what, me at this what, angle why, why did i do like this what did i do this for why did i wear that shirt this shit is disgusting <laughs> You're you always think. criticizing everything, you know. Yeah. It's exciting to people that watch it, but I know it's a it's a creative people's madness. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I'm saying, but it, anyway, you know there are popular songs that you're tired of. What's that popular song that you're like, you know, can I just not hear this again? Ah, popular song that I'm tired of. It's probably one of them. Sorry to say, pop foreign guys. Mm-hmm. And I don't know why Nigerians are so crazy about foreign music in 2019. Exactly. People. I feel like I feel like we sometimes underrate ourselves. Yeah. And it's so sad how foreigners will now come in and put our music up, and everybody's excited. Like you know, I remember yeah. the first time Rihanna posted my song, you know, on Instagram. I did not sleep that day. <laughs> My phones were going off. People that have not called me in 20 years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Spino, 
<laughs> we are proud of you. You are proud of you. I'm like, okay. Okay, I've calm had, down. I've, I received calls from pastors, ushers, everybody that day. It's a good thing, yeah, I get it. Mm-hmm. But we need to start seeing our own greatness. Mm-hmm. Not until somebody else sees it. You know, I've been putting out a collaborative album since 2015. Every year. Mm -hmm. Like, I've been featuring people from Africa, Nigeria, Igbo, Yoruba. Like, I've been featured. That's what I do. I've been collaborating to showcase the African music to the rest of the world. And somebody else does the same thing. (laughs) And I'm like... This Are you guys, taking a jam at Beyonce? No, of course uh, not. Okay. But it's I just, just, I just had to it's just what it is that <laughs> we need to support ourselves more. We don't have to wait till somebody outside the block to now tell you that your guys are dope yeah then you know i'm like yeah you're pushing for it yeah for the culture (laughs) (laughs) but what you've seen how afrobeats has been accepted across the world so what would you say the vibe is like when you switch from their type of music to afrobeats outside nigeria um big shout out to africans in diaspora i would say that they've done so much to put afrobeat on the map uh africans living in america living in the uk living in europe the dancers, yo, the dancers are usually very not applauded for what they do. But dancers have done magic with, with our music. I'll tell you for a fact, some of the biggest artists in the world are listening to our music through the dance. And yeah. a lot of people don't even know that. And I'm telling you for a fact. So shout out to the dancers. Shout out to Africans in diaspora. Shout out to Africans in Africa. I think collectively, everybody's contributing one way or the other to the press like yourself to the djs who work tirelessly around the clock yeah everybody's putting in work so yeah definitely we should we should we should um we should even see better days and big shout out to beyonce as well who has actually bodied african artist music with our own style of music Mm -hmm. beyonce literally actually did it the right way yeah she did she 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 did African music and put Africa on the map the right way, like with credits, with respect, with mm-hmm. uh, come on. Mm-hmm. They put a lot of work on that project. Yeah, yeah. So I, I I know for a fact people flown to LA to be in the studio. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would have thought that they recorded it and just you know cut and paste. No 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 no. Oh wow. See, I was in the studio for almost five days. Oh, Techno wow. was in the studio as well. I saw Techno in the studio as well. Uh, who else? They, it was actually properly well But was done. she in the studio with them? Yeah, what do you think this is? <laughs> what, 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 this is what I say about you African no, people. No, but I wait, need to wait, know. Wait, you know how private wait, Beyonce wait, could be. Wait, wait, oh wait, my wait. God, this is, I this is, that one chance. Why don't you? So you don't <laughs> believe that Tiwa and Beyonce are drinking Gary together? Is that what you're trying <laughs> to say to me now? <laughs> You don't believe I'm that. I'm just t- trying. Say, look, I'm just trying to find out. Forgive okay, me. Okay, what if I, what if, what if, what if, you see until you say video I'm of not Tiwa na- Savage oh, and, I've entered one Tiwa time. Savage and Beyonce <laughs> were actually playing 10 10 in the studio. Wow. Wow. You see, you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I see you did this video. So I need to confirm something. Yes. I'm not really sure. Are you signed to a label? Uh, in Nigeria, yes, to my own record label. So you're okay because the someone, cap music. <laughs> someone yes. said to me that you were signed to some international yes label. as well in in the uk and the us okay what are the perks of a dj being signed to a label um well that's why i said if you keep looking at dj spinner with that high of a dj you you'll probably get lost in what i'm doing okay. i'm not just a dj now oh yeah i'm an artist i'm a producer i'm a songwriter so it's the same deal you get with an artist that it's like dj khalid david guetta calvin Harris, martin garrix blah 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 you yeah know, it's music and i feel like every time you every time you make music it goes through a certain process whether you're making remixes or I'm making beats for international artists or the likes the likes okay and i also have a publishing deal with um one at chapel music man music business is is serious it's, business now it's, it's no longer child's play no nah, it's never no. been child's play well at some point people were not um we didn't have offices we didn't have um, people were doing other roles. It oh, was just, oh, oh, I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, it was okay, just, I, I remember saying. when I used to do management, that time yeah. it was, anyhow, Beleface, just do it, just push to <laughs> But music. you did a good job then too. I, I, I did, remember. right? Thank you, you so much. You did an amazing job. I was so job. young, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 17, but 18 or 19. You were so, you were one of the 
most professional managers I met Thank back you. in the days at uh, industry. Night. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really didn't know what I was doing, but I was doing something. No, no, <laughs> no. You did. You see, that's the thing. I feel like your passion and how you how you represent your artist and you know make sure you get what you want out of every dj you met uh, that was incredible okay it's not about me now but thank you so no, much I'm just telling you. thank you thank you so much so what would You're you welcome. say to an artist who is trying to start out now or a dj what would yeah. you say to them um i think it's understanding who you are most importantly and don't ever compare yourself with anybody yeah don't ever ever that's the biggest mistake you will make when you see someone doing it big and you're like yes no 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 you need to like respect your space and be sure that this is what you really want to do because when you start there's no going back okay so it's easy to make a one eat then you have to come back to give us another one mm -hmm. then you have to come back to give us another one on top another one it never it's a it's a journey it's not a race yeah so don't be in a hurry to become a superstar there's pressure you will pay area boys from Jack on day to Mikeja. <laughs> and look, it's, it's, it's a journey. And yeah. my advice is put God first. Don't ever assume you can do it on your own. You need a team. Mm -hmm. I see people be people get signed to a label. They jump off and say they're going to start their own. I don't know how you want to do it though, but Holy Ghost will help you. <laughs> it's not the easy. truth is you need a team. Mm -hmm. if somebody has done it in the past then you want to emulate them good for you you will learn the hard way the biggest artist in the world is still with a label mm -hmm. do you understand like that's mm -hmm. how that's the that's the level you can't do it on your own it's, it's a whole look at me i'm in the studio right now with my manager with, with my pr the head of the pr with the the like you need a team basically you yeah. can't do everything he has a whole crew here it's yeah. like he's shooting a movie <laughs> it's not even reality series you it's know, a movie it's a full some movie. of these things they are shooting i don't even get to see it until maybe they want to submit a documentary to another international blah 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 you you're know, foreign like that no no i mean it's I just, feel, don't worry it's just, i it's feel just, you it's just how it works when you have a team you know big shout out to my manager tolu shout out to amaka it's not the amaka disappointment <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like a original one. I see, but let's Shout out take, to Taiwo as well. Okay, let's take a break and we'll be right back. This next song is featuring Dave Vito. It's your DJ. Oh, I love this song. Hot 93.3. I'm still tuned in, or rather, you're still tuned into the Lava Lounge with Cha Cha, and I've got DJ Spinner still with me. Yes, boss. We just listened to his song with Dave Vito. I see you just, uh, you see the log that I have here. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about it, I and Shalewa, before you, you came in. And what I noticed is that you have all of the top people, every every top artist in Nigeria has a song with you. Okay, so some of them, mm -hmm. at the time we recorded the song, they were not on this level. Oh, okay. At the time that we recorded the song, they were not. When I recorded yeah. the song with Bona. Uh, That's serious. No, no, the first one, Bag Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, it was, I, I, just, I saw that. I saw like the bond that everybody's seeing now. Then, uh, when I recorded the song with Yemi Alade, I saw what everybody's seeing now. Like when I did the song with Nini Ola, what everybody's in. I recorded the song with Nini Ola. I'm sure you remember when mm -hmm. we were industry nights. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody even knew who Nini Ola was. Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, I recorded this song. I'm recording. I'm doing records with World now. I've started recording with World since 2016. Exactly. Oh, wow before anybody ever you know so it's not like i just met them now and that's why some of them now look back and be like oh this guy has been there for me yeah. let's work together again you know it's not like it happens so i keep telling people like you need to support people before they become like yeah relevant relevant you know so that i mean i just believe in music to be honest and I never met Ward even when we started working together. I never, oh. well, it was just, I, I just, I was on uh, SoundCloud and I was listening to music and I saw some of his files. So I went to look for him on Twitter. He was not responding. I went to chase <laughs> him on. Uh, he wasn't responding to you? I mean, maybe ah. you didn't see it. Okay. But I went to uh, Instagram like, hey, yo, even Mr. Easy, I'm sorry, Mr. Easy, when I met him, Mr. Easy, it was Mr. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> when I heard of the first, I, I think the first time I heard of Mr. Easy was I, I, I was in London with Wanda Cole, mm -hmm. and they were playing some songs on radio, 
Uh, it sings in your body, da, 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 da. And I'm like, ah, this is fly. Who is this? Who is this? It's a Mr. Easy. I'm like, Mr. Easy. I don't Wait, do you understand? <laughs> in Nigeria, nobody knew who Mr. Easy was. Mm-hmm. In London, a few people knew who he was. And but, Ghana. Yeah, and Ghana. Ah, that time, so I don't know. <laughs> but in London, it was a big so ladies love easy in, in mm-hmm. london at that time so i reached out to him like hey bro i'd like to work with you you know so that was when we did our email mm-hmm. and boom around that period was when skin tight now Favorite. became uh, that's i think that's my favorite Mr. yeah that, that I'm, no no Ayuma is your favorite <laughs> of course it's on me of course it's you <laughs> <laughs> but um what would you say is uh the most annoying thing that happens to you Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I want to ask okay. you. Who is the artist that you're feeling now that people don't know? Just help the person now. Oh, that, that I'm feeling that people don't know. Yes. Or it's not as big as should, you should, he or she should be. Uh, there's a guy called Ade. Okay. Um, I actually called him and invited him to the studio. So we did a song with him just to help as well. There's also another guy called Dak Paul. Dak Paul Tuborna? No, no, oh. no. Tuborna is an amazing artist, but it's mm-hmm. just, it's just Dak Paul, right? That were official or something like that. If you look them up and just like uh, just type Ade featuring DJ Spinner. So when I see someone that I think I I really believe in them, I kinda like always lend my voice, you know, jump on their song, invite them on my song, you know. Um there's a guy called um Bino as well. Is now Oh, uh, I know Bino. Bino has been doing music right from uni days. Now, I can't wait to see I him featured Bino no, on on my second single ever, like I like featured it. by with Emma. Yeah. There's a song with Emma called Olua. It's an hip hop song. If you look on YouTube, it's still there. Like that's what I do. I I just I I rather discover the artist and reach out than them chasing me with Broom and Cutlass in the <laughs> DMs. You know, it's, so I'm a big fan of anybody making good music. I think people should also watch out for um um oxlady what's his oxlady yes, yes yes i feel like it's very it's a very very special kid and um um i've listened to i've listened to a lot of people you know there's a guy called means as well m-i-n-z no. it's yeah yeah please write it down, <laughs> <laughs> write it down. yes okay. means is actually another very special artist that you know it needs a lot of attention um ah, the list is endless i'll send you a book oh, please send it to me i want to see <laughs> because the number of music i listen to averagely in a day is a lot so i've have i marked a lot i don't i wish i have so much money i will have you know so do you intend to open have you have a record label yeah we have you, a record you label. don't have anybody signed to well we signed killer tunes oh, that's the producer the, yeah yeah we we signed killer tunes like three years ago and um everybody knows who killer tunes is yeah so it can go <laughs> so we're trying to look for somebody else you know the the plan is not to sign people and keep them for life yeah. you know i just want to help you hopefully you will know what you're doing afterwards you know because okay. i can't be babysitting anybody okay <laughs> who gave you your first banger uh bonaboy bonaboy it's the course. first song <laughs> that was my first single as well back okay. there okay. you just been out so how would you say that your growth process from then to now has been um i'll say that um it's been it's been it's been it's been inspiring to me to watch mm-hmm. so sometimes this uh this guy's here you're i'm sure they're hearing this from me for the first time <laughs> so sometimes when i'm at home i just lock myself in the room <laughs> and <laughs> sit down and put the youtube on and go and watch the very All first video wow. like, ah, ah, this guy is so fat oh you really really suffer see your neck <laughs> ah, you know <laughs> just to it's inspiring you know when you invest in yourself and you don't even know if people are gonna like what you're doing you you're not sure you're just trying you know just trying but one thing was certain that i wasn't doing it for the hype or for the noise or for the fame or anything like that it was just for love of music and the amount of things the amount of love that i've received from fans 
It's incredible. That's been incredible. It's All incredible. right. All right, DJ Spino, I need to take the news update yes, now. Sir. So we'll be right back after Hot 93.3. <laughs> All right. So I've got a couple of tweets here, but let me just say this again. If you want to send a message to DJ Spino, you can send me a message on WhatsApp 081 800 or you can tweet at HotFM underscore Lagos. Or if you want to call, you can call him to speak to him on 081-8242-6591. So I have a couple of tweets here. And let me read this first one. It says, um, it's from at Zyt, Z-Y-T-E. And it says, um, DJ Spinall featuring Whiskey and Tiwa. This is love. I think there's a bomb sign. I don't know what this is. At Hot FM, I want to show DJ Spinall special love. Top boy and top girl. Am I, am I a top girl? Oh, hey, that's, that's that's so much love. That Thank you, man. Then another one says, um, from the same person. Yes. Uh, she says, record with me. Let me blow too. It will happen, man. It, Just believe. Uh, don't believe. be giving out false promises it's, on my no, show. No, no, no. Let me I tell you something. You. Believe is a very strong word. Like When I say believe. I've not promised you. I just said <laughs> believe. And if you have faith, it will happen. Okay, the next one says the cap is the realest DJ around here, man. Okay. Thank okay, you. they're just, you know, they're just shining your shoe for you. Thank so, you. what's with this, the cap? I know that it's been your thing for the longest. Yes. Where did it come from? I've uh, never it's just that. passion. Um, passion for music, passion to show off the culture. And, you know, I feel like um, I love. To be seen as an African, mm-hmm. no matter what I wear, I I, I don't want to lose that essence of being something a lot of people are not, which okay. is African. I want to be proudly African. If I have my way, I'll be wearing trads Monday to Sunday. Okay, you know it's beautiful, it's affordable, it's fresh. Okay, I see. So, I feel you. I thought uh, it was because maybe your head is just big. That's. All. Hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get back to regular. Hey. So this is why you invited me here. So like, I'm busy. I'm going to write the management. But <laughs> well, let me ask you something. I see. You yes. know when you're in your elements yes. and you're DJing, what's mm-hmm. that one thing that people do that pisses you off that you're like, yo, I'm just gonna bite this person's head off. So um, DJs worldwide, this is what pisses DJs worldwide off. Mm-hmm. Telling the DJ what to play. What to play, yeah. I feel like <laughs> you are just insane. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because you have a mobile phone here. Yeah? Mm-hmm. If you want to hear that song so bad, just go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> go to the toilet, lock yourself up, and play the song JJ and enjoy it and go. Or another thing you can do, you can climb the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> follow the ladder to heaven and just tell in jail in fact in jail Gabriel will not like it <laughs> never ever tell a DJ what to play okay was that the reason why you got upset over a tweet sometime yeah, last on t- week on uh, Twitter yes somebody said to you DJs said world- to me it's okay DJs worldwide yes. put already on your playlist yes. and you're like Don't- no 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 that's not all already? he said that's not all he said oh, okay so the part that got me upset was not DJs worldwide put yeah. already on your playlist. The part that got me upset was when he wrote, Don't be unfortunate. Oh, oh, okay. Do you understand? I'm like, you look at this refraff blogger. <laughs> <laughs> look at this nameless person that is oh, insulting goodness. legends. You know what DJs are? DJs have actually brought so much clout to this business. DJs, I know DJs are as old as 65 years old. When you use the word DJs, people don't, you don't understand that these are people that are that are feeding families, sending families to to Harvard University. DJs like we're talking about DJs like DJs Jimmy Jack, who is not your dad's mate. Do you understand? <laughs> like you're talking about legends, DJs that are working round the clock to put our music on the map for people like Beyonce to now come and work with us. You, 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 this yeah, yeah, guy now think <laughs> you call all those people unfortunate. Ah, that's an, that, I, I can't, I can't, I can't see that and not react. It's like yeah. somebody disrespect. I, he wasn't even talking to me directly. Yeah. But the fact that he could say, don't, you can say all you want to say, but which one is DJs? Don't be unfortunate. Ah, that was, that was an insult. 
and I was ready to actually pull him out from his Twitter account. <laughs> <laughs> like from, I could, I could feel the anger. I was so from upset. Your reply. It was, I, and and you know, usually I don't reply yeah. to things like that. But I see it a lot. You see, mm-hmm. people have very funny ways of disrespecting media people. And yeah, it's, true. And, and it's and we always ignore it. We ignore. We always let you know. I feel like we should speak up occasionally. Yeah. I mean, I didn't disrespect him. I didn't insult him back. True. All I said was, you're not allowed to talk to DJs like that. That's and all I said back. I could see a lot of DJs were praising you for that. Say, thank you for speaking for us as usual. I mean, that's, not even, that's not even the goal. The goal is to just let him understand that there are certain limits. It's like me going... And the guy's a blogger. It's like me going now to now say that uh, bloggers, make sure you post up DJ spin on new single. Don't be unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's uncalled for, you know. Like they're doing, DJs are doing you a favor. Oh, bloggers yeah. are doing everybody. It's, everybody's contributing to make things better. Yeah. The least you can do if you want support for something is to speak to people with respect, and you know, speak politely. Even yeah. not, even not just DJs. To everybody, we should we should speak to ourselves politely. You okay. can get a message across without insulting anybody. You know, you know. That's, that's it. That's that's just. I just wanted him to know that it's not cool to speak like that. I feel you. But what would you say the biggest problem you've had to overcome in this um, field that you're in is? Um, I I just think that there are there are always going to be challenges in all fields you find yourself in, whether DJing or not. Uh, you have challenges from people believing in you, believing probably you can do it. People with doubt, like. Can she really do that? You know, can you really do that? You know, you have to prove yourself over time and get them convinced that you really, really can. Also, um, you probably do that for the rest of your life, too, you know, trying yeah. to convince somebody. So they'll be like, oh, spin off. It's just one ETS. <laughs> After we drop back beer, you know, then we dropped another one. They'll be like, hmm. I can't try it on him. <laughs> then, well, you know, then we'll drop that another one. Like, oh. okay. Then we'll drop Baba. No. Baba. So they're like, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's give him one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Aside from the fact I feel like, you- and I feel like it happens to everybody. Mm-hmm. It happens to everybody. Nobody rates you until you're somebody. Until you get there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as a DJ, aside the fact that you're playing music, what are the perks of being a DJ that you enjoy the most? I'm trying to ask as oh. much questions as possible. <laughs> That's because, a good question, yeah. actually. That's so. a very good question. The part of DJing that I enjoy the most is probably... Uh, it's, it's probably researching for music. Okay. It's, 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 it's really, really... It's really, really funny how the code that says never judge a book by its cover applies to a lot of music. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when I'm looking out for music, so I just play, and I open my mind. Okay, you get so I, that's why I don't know most of the people. I know so many songs in my head, but I don't know who sang it because here. I try not to look at the name or look at a video or look at the art talk. So I just play and stay away from what I'm playing okay. and just listen because sometimes the art talk might piss you off, <laughs> <laughs> and you might decide that I'm not listening to this record. Okay. Just because of the artwork, some people will use lizard and uh, cockroach to demonstrate, you know, what they are trying to do. So I feel like it's just it's just what it is, you know. Okay, I see people are shooting their shots on our Twitter here, and um, someone <laughs> says, "Hi, DJ Spino, are you open to working with new?" He has said that before. Open to not working with new little known artists. There's a hot new rap artist you should probably check out. At yeah. So you probably see that on your Twitter, but let yeah. me move on for that for a second. Um, I want to ask you this other thing. What single night out have you been on that is most memorable to you as a DJ? What's that one time that you went out and you're like, you know what, I'm really oh. feeling this crowd. What was uh, that place? I've had a lot of those. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I think I'm blessed to to have witnessed some of the best audiences around the world. Um, maybe the I would say the Glastonbury. Yeah, you know, a lot that was of, a proud moment for you. Oh, uh, fella, fella performed at Glastonbury. Oh, wow. in 1984. Mm-hmm. And I'm and I, and we just did it. So it was emotional. Like I was looking at the did old you cry? place. 
<laughs> I hear men cry. Don't, don't we cry, no doubt, but I did not cry did that you day. Cry. Yes, don't stop. Lie. stop. <laughs> I did not cry, but it was, I, mm, it was really, really I'm touching. I'm looking at you, actually. <laughs> oh my God, who are you for God's sake? Stop. <laughs> it was really touching, but I, there was no tears. But um, the fact that I kind of like paused at some time while I was playing and performing, and I'm seeing people going crazy, and I'm like, wow. From a child, Jokoro, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, doing My first thing. gig was 500 Naira. Wow. Five, wow. Yeah, so all those people... That was transport me. money. Yeah, yeah. That was a lot of money. Probably wasn't even enough for your transport because the, you would have moved your equipment. That was a lot of money. Okay. Trust me. You say a lot of money. Like, then, I'm serious. 1960. Stop it. You're babe, not that old. Babe, babe, babe. <laughs> wait. This was something that you would do for free because oh, yeah. you have mad love for it. And some, I didn't, It wasn't like I charged them. Mm-hmm. They gave me... I didn't even spend the money for like a week because I thought they would collect it back. <laughs> <laughs> so I kept it, you know, but um, good times. Um, also, I think a couple of shows, I mean, also, there was an event in Portaco that um, I was on with Smenov and um, it was, it was, it was crazy. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to, I was built to perform for two hours and after two hours, it didn't even feel like we've been two there hours. for two hours. So I kept going and, Organizers were like, "Oh, bros, let's go." <laughs> you know, all and right. Some, some, a few ones like some university shows where my laptop, some assorted. I think I saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a very, very fun show. It's sad that the part, the the good part of the show it wasn't recorded. Yeah, 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 it wasn't recorded, but it was really, it was Afeba Balala University. It was it was an awesome event. Okay. So, what is that one mistake that you see upcoming DJs make that mm. you're just like, na, 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 na. Okay, they are trying, um, the ones that, a few actually, but um, I think the ones that I would say is that's become rampant is, is trying to put, put out all their legs at once. How do you mean? Which is, you have to be ripe to do certain things before you do them. So, I see a lot of DJs trying to put out records. Oh, yeah? And I feel like that's a good move, but it's the wrong timing. Mm-hmm. You get um, a lot of a lot of the time is that it's best when you invest in yourself first. Be do your grind. Like I, f- I feel like every experiences that I've gotten in the past from working at radio stations, from working at industry night, from doing a lot of corporate events kind of like trained my mind and my sh- kind of like gave me so much strength yeah to be able to face these new challenges that I'm going through right now so I'll say that um they should try and do one thing at a time don't 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 start DJing today and tomorrow you want to put out a record or don't just take your time one step at a time yeah 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 there's there's beauty in growth Mm-hmm. I feel like the biggest problem is when you try to compete yourself with somebody else only because they have a DJ at the back of your name like yours. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. That's really, really wrong. Don't say, oh, we are all DJs. No, 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 no. There's levels to the DJs. Okay. And I feel like, <laughs> yeah, wow. it's true. Just it's like it's like saying <laughs> pre- we are all presenters. No, 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 no. <laughs> there's levels to everything. Yes, yeah. there's levels to everything. And I feel like if you learn from the people who are better than you, who are mm-hmm. doing it on a bigger scale, who also help. Yeah. Some of us, we don't have mentors anymore, especially around this vicinity. We have to always reach out, look elsewhere for mentorship. Yeah. Look, it's a deep conversation for people who are very open-minded to understand. Mm-hmm. Sometimes people ask for opinions and advice. And when you hit them with the truth, they're like, oh, oh. Yeah. Baba, why you do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people hate, hate the truth. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes I, I usually don't like to give advice because they're always very brutal and very honest. But these things will help you. They will really, really help you. You're not going to get there on a platter of gold. Yeah. If someone as big as Beyonce, as big as Beyonce, mm-hmm. is still grinding, calling people around the world to work with, you should, that should give you an insight of how very difficult it, it is at the top. Yeah, to the top, yeah. If someone like Wiz is still constantly working with 
young young artist and you know still pushing himself someone like tiwa the rest of this artist is still hustling on that level mm -hmm. look at bonner boy dropping records back to back on tour i see him performing there next day he's Somewhere like else. if you if you don't people sometimes especially young people all they see is just the glam yeah they never really think about oh this guy was at a show last night this is eight o'clock it's on a radio station think about that for a minute mm -hmm. then think about oh it's on the plane but all they see is, let me tell you what they see <laughs> Pictures, business class <laughs> bah, bah, oh, <laughs> then what well, you know what they see next ah your days gonna scream and you're gonna scream <laughs> ah. so if you really really think about it you see those guys when they are performing and you see shades they are wearing shades people be like i need even see in the night no it's deeper than that that shade is just so you don't see the real eyes because it's swollen these guys have not probably slept in days so yeah it's a lot of hard work I'm, I'm i'm going through it now so. <laughs> I, I, I can't even see your eyes yo, yo, when yo, i was in the yo. studio i can't know. i've been trying to look you have no. nice frames on by the way am i might steal them but i've been trying thank to you. look did you hear the part that i said i might steal them yeah i okay. said thank you no i might <laughs> <laughs> okay before i go to my last question yes um you were talking about making music with artists yes do you guys do profit sharing or it's just you know you make the music and that's it it becomes yours or do you share your profit it with depends on the terms okay for the music there are some artists that are yeah definitely you share profit you share publishing you share whatnot and there are some artists that you have probably other things you can share with each other that comes at even a higher cost than whatever profit you want to make from music okay but the biggest goal is to have a great song okay i have one more question for yes. you but i want to read out um two whatsapp messages this okay. one comes from ismail yunusa he says funnily um this is my first time seeing him even though i know him by yeah, the yeah. name he's cool in person he's cooler in person than i thought and he gave you this what do you call it strength. yeah yeah the strength oh, yeah god bless you brother thank you so much man then another one here says good afternoon my name is kofri from dublin republic of ireland um she. yeah uh -uh. we're streaming live we are international <laughs> yes uh -huh. we you are didn't tell me now let me adjust my shirt <laughs> uh -uh. that's how we people. do that's how we do uh -huh. our hotline 3.3 <laughs> so it says um djs have been so looked down on for a long time in very Nigeria. true very i'm true. glad this mindset is changing keep up the good work thank you brother all. thank you special thanks to hot fm for having you in the studio yay uh -huh. special thank you thank to you us. thank you okay so my last question Can for we you pass here to inside the internet you are not going anywhere every time you're always traveling you want sorry, to sorry, you want sorry. to go where to double. i always pass my boundaries sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> so where do you think that this um this scene is is headed in the next let's say a year from now with the all with all of the big things that are yes. happening in the music industry where would you see the music industry going from here to um, next year from the I, I think that um where we are right now is it's impressive and it's mm -hmm. very uh, it's highly commendable uh where we are headed will actually surprise a lot of us and um what i would love to see more is internal collaborations okay that's what i do that's what i've been doing all my life and that's what i've been preaching to artists i feel like we need more records of artists working with artists yeah you know and um i feel i believe i'm of the opinion that together we can achieve so much more than what we could ever achieve individually mm -hmm. and um i say that because i've seen the power of collaborations that i have done i've seen the power of collaborations that other people have done and if we if we do that more you know if we have like a wheezing david o collaborations david o whiskey i think know, that's even dropping soon we've been hearing that since, <laughs> since 20 it was i just hoping to see more you know collaborations not even with the video this time yeah. but you know everybody work with yourselves like okay it's, it's nothing do you think they're not doing that because there's a lot of fake love people don't want to see each other grow or um it might not be it might not really be actually fake love or people's you know it could actually be time okay to be honest with you i understand that that i have people i have people living in my house that i've not seen in two weeks oh we live in the same house your house must be a mansion big okay. no i'm saying it in all seriousness now I thought, sorry. <laughs> no i'm serious we live in the same house 
it's either when I'm working out, like we just I've not seen in two weeks. So yeah. people could be busy for real. It could be that somebody's not in town or somebody's in town, it's not in the right frame of mind. Music also can be tedious. Things just have to be perfect before it could, mm-hmm. you know. But I think they should put more effort into making collaborations with one another. Oh, thank you so much, Spino. Yeah. I've learned so much from speaking with you just you so today. Much. It's awesome thank having you. this chit chat with you. Thanks thank so much you. for being on my show. Thank you Is so much there for having anything us. Anything you want to put out there before you go off? Say um, bye to your people. <laughs> Brand new music, DJ Spino featuring T.Y. Savage and Whisked. Please support, um, share with friends and family, and um, support African music. Don't wait till Jay Z says sweet though. <laughs> support us now thank you All right. and to anybody who is who is who is doing this music stuff please i beg you in the name of god don't ever give up keep working on your craft and it will happen for you i believe so thank you all right hot 93.3